Hey everybody, I'm Beamer the Beamer, and welcome back to This is the Police. Uh, last time, uh, let's see, we, we, we kind of finished up one of those investigations, however, it only brought us to, uh, the top boss of the, uh, the gang or whatever. Um, what else happened? I totally forget. Here we go! Day 105, Dean, Chinatown, dormitory, overcrowded. Fine. Uh, City Hall cuts, what does that say? Broadville? Broadville Asylum funding? Fine. A uh, man in open field frightened to death by Scarecrow. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> we got a call about that, and it was it was weird. Um, oh, good. City Hall likes us again for no good reason. I haven't really done anything, I think, to make them happy. Um, aside from do my job. Remember back in the day when we would do our job and they would, they would hate us for it? Uh, I'm suffering an extremely severe anxiety attack, and I can't concentrate on anything. Can I go home? Um, case... You may recall that uh, yesterday, um, what was his name? Jaxi? He also had an anxiety attack. I don't know um, why we're having this sudden outbreak of crazy anxiety attacks. Um, and I explained to him what I will now explain to you. Um, I understand how shitty anxiety attacks are. I, I've ha had them before. I have them sometimes. Um, they suck. But you are not a real person. You are a video game character, and so I do not care about you. So you cannot go home. You have to work. Uh, McCoy uh, is upset because last time we made her hang out with a bunch of assholes. Um, Chief, my son came down with a serious illness. I think I better take off work. Sorry, can I go home? Absolutely fucking not. Your son is going to have to figure it out. He's going to have to learn how to cook up some goddamn chicken noodle soup and take some medicine. How about that? Start the day. <laughs> That's right. We're taking care of business up in here. We're tired of all this nonsense. We're trying to get some work done. We're trying to be real life cops, all right? By real life cops, I mean video game cops that um, don't accomplish anything at all. Funeral for Alice Crosby. Did we care about her? I don't remember. No, she was kind of new. We didn't We didn't care about her. All right, your share um, from the woman, the bakery or whatever. This is great. I'm glad I did this. I was worried at first, but this seems to be working out just fine. I'm making all kinds of money. Awesome. What's this? Armed robbery. Bank of Freeburg. A gang of masked men armed with automatic weapons entered the bank. They fired a few shots into the air and demanded the manager open the vault, while everyone else lay in nervous silence on the floor. One of the guards drew his service weapon, but he didn't have a chance. The robber shot him right in the stomach. Well, that sucks. Um, is he dead? I hope not. Um, hmm. I don't think we need the paddy wagon. We might save that for something else. We're going to send in SWAT. Um, we're gonna have Chavez lead the charge, and we're gonna send in Prado for backup, and we will also send in Kojo, and Degger, or Deger, Degger, I don't know, uh, and Roth, and of course, our number one asshole, Megadopolis. And because this is a pretty big one, I think I might send in someone else who actually knows what they're doing. Um, how about Fall? Fall. 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 Fall, you go do it. Alright, this should be a pretty good team. If they fail, um, everyone's fired. We're gonna go on a rampage. Oh, we can no, no longer upgrade squat because they are all, um, certified badasses now, which is great. So, we're gonna request a job slot, uh, for a detective and an officer, and we're also gonna request a raise, which we- <laughs> it's just completely insignificant at this point. But whatever! Anything we can get from City Hall, I'm gonna take from now on. Um, our paycheck, by the way, is strictly from the, like, bakery woman now. Armed robbery! Are you shitting me? Heavily armed gunmen attacked an armored truck. Several witnesses, several witness, heard an explosion and saw robbers carrying machine guns. I just sent SWAT off to that. That other one. You sons of bitches. Alright, we're sending everyone. Everyone in. But they're all pretty good, so hopefully they'll be able to handle it without SWAT. I guess we'll see. If anyone needs backup, it's too bad. You're not getting it. Um, there was something else. There was something else I wanted to do. Oh, I, I, I was thinking about sending uh, some detectives because all my detectives suck. So I was thinking about sending detectives uh, to the police academy. Why can I not look at the other detectives? I don't know if this is actually doing anything. <laughs> yeah, fuck whatever. We're gonna send this guy. Why not? We'll send, you know what, Hunter? I like your name. We're sending you. We want to level up Hunter, I guess. Except, all right, fine. Should we do it again? Why the hell not? We might as well. 
We got all kinds of freaking money. Let's send you, and uh, let's also uh, send sellers here. All right. I just wanted to level up some of my detectives because they all kind of suck, and we're trying to. Uh oh. All right. This is gonna be a tough call. We got a lot of weak losers on our team. You know what? We're refusing it. <laughs> Prado, I'm counting on you, you asshole. Nobody die. Okay, okay, looks good. All right. Oh, look at that. We got some loot, too. Ask the Mafia to sell it. Hell yeah. San, no, I don't care. Jack, we have something going down today at Atticus Tower. Oh. Oh, fuck, we might just let you do it. <laughs> At 1319, uh, we wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think $250 should be enough for such a request. Sand, I mean, now you're just insulting me, okay? Have you have you met the, the bakery woman? <laughs> She's giving me all kinds of money. This is bullshit. I mean, I'm not a fan of the Atticus Corp right now, but come on. You're gonna have to do better than that. All right, the armored truck is lying on its side, smoke rising from it. Nearby is a black jeep with no plates, which two robbers are loading the money. Uh, send a bullet through the jeep's front wheel. That sounds good. Ram the jeep with a patrol car. Okay, drop your weapons. You're surrounded. Eh, it's too bad we don't have a taser option. Um, okay, we're gonna send a bullet through the jeep's front wheel. All right, the robbers. Well, that looks like a grenade. Oh boy. <laughs> Robbers fire uh, as they retreat down an alley and throw a grenade towards the cops. Chase the robbers, fall to the ground, hide behind a patrol car. Let's go get them. Chase them. It turned out to be a smoke grenade. Meanwhile, the criminals have jumped out into the road. Jack, uh, Jack's an old pickup truck and they're trying to get away. Stop! Return to the patrol car and chase the pickup. Open fire. Oh shit. Open fire. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, the most violent uh, option is the best. Hey, look, we found money. It's it's a good thing we can sell the money to get to make some money. Good. Assault at the Ice Prince Cafe. Uh, Jose Sug Sug Sug. I don't know. Uh, called Sue Gigi. Like a uh, some some good game. I don't know. He <laughs> called the station and muttered this sad story through streaming tears. I was just trying to get to know a pretty girl, and I gave her the coolest compliment in the world. But she just went crazy and beat me so bad, she mangled me and ruined my perfect face. Sounds like you're just a whiny little bitch to me. Um, this might even be a false alarm. I don't know. We'll, uh... I mean, we'll send a couple people, I guess. Here, look, we're gonna send Fall and Chavez, alright? How about that? You two go figure out what that weirdness is. Don't disappoint me. Do not disappoint me. Being disappointed is not something uh, I want to do right now. Massive fight at the city center. About two dozen scientists who recently lost their jobs decided to stage a protest march in the city center. The participants marched peacefully along the side of the road, but then some religious fanatics came out and started throwing stones at them, tearing their clothes, and generally humili humiliating them. Blah, 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 humiliating them. A massive brawl has broken out, and several people are already injured. Well, shit. Let's send the paddy wagon. Let's uh, send in Prado. Because um, he sucks. Uh, let's send in Kojo. Digger, Roth, asshole guy, uh, and Dixon. You know what? McCoy, too. <laughs> I just don't want... Uh, you know, let's keep McCoy. Just in case a couple of things come up, we might, we might eat her. We just want to level up all these guys. Because remember that day that we lost like a billion people all at the same time? Yeah. Uh, the guy offered the girl a quickie. And she merely slapped him across the face. Yeah, I figured it was something like that. What was that place even? Like a restaurant or something? Assault at the Atticus Tower. Oh, hey, yeah, this is the sand thing. A call just came in from the secretary of therapist Alan Graham. She reports that Dr. Graham was attacked by a patient during an otherwise normal session. The patient pinned him down to the floor and is slapping him in the face. I'm afraid that the doctor might have an asthma attack, uh, said the frightened secretary. Uh, well, let's see what this is first. Jack Boyd, a common acquaintance, told me that you're a reasonable man who can be riled upon, rallied, sorry, rallied upon for help. I need to load four luxury cars at the port, and to be very frank, they're stolen. 
Last time, my boys got picked up, and a very big player didn't get his shipment. This time, it has to go as smoothly as possible. Cops in this driver's seat would help make that happen. I'm not going to do that. Um, in fact, this sounds exactly like the, uh, the gang thing that I'm trying to solve right now. So fuck you, whoever you are. I'm not helping you out. That sounds like bullshit. It doesn't sound like you're going to hook me up with anything good. No. Get out of here. I'm going to deal with this Atticus thing. All right. Beard Cell, McCoy, and you know what? Numata. You know what? Not Numata. Uh, you know what? Numata and not McCoy. Go do it. Go handle that. Uh-oh. Uh, the massive fight. Should we send two more people? We'll refuse it in case there's another crime. Uh, you know what? Can I do this? No. You know what? Let's play it safe. Let's not let anyone die. Let's just play it safe on this one. We have the people. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Um, shit. Oh, they're, he's, well, he's back. And her. Oh, okay, great. All right, fine. What's this? Abuse of emergency services. Once again, retiree Yang Young Hu complained to the police that a local restaurant is preparing its dishes incorrectly. They don't advertise their portions and mix up their ingredients. We've warned her a dozen times that this isn't a police matter, but she keeps calling and bothering our personnel. So, uh, what do you want me to do? It's a false alarm. You just told me it's a false alarm. Am I going to get in trouble if I don't go and do something? Fucking... <laughs> I don't know. Go do it, I guess. It's, it sounds like a waste of time. I don't know why they're even asking me to send someone, but whatever. It's fine. Ming Chang. Massive fight. How'd it go? It went well. Good. Get your asses back here. Disappointed. I don't care. Assault. Oh, it was a real thing, it turns out. Oh, no, that's the other thing. At Atticus Tower. Yeah, we handled that. Okay, fine. Abduction at the suburb. A passerby noticed a suspicious black man sitting in a van next to a little white girl. I'm afraid to imagine what that monster has in store for that little angel. This is a false alarm. Abuse of emergency services. That was indeed a real thing. How about that? I don't understand. Oh, I get it. We're arresting the lady who keeps calling in. I get it. Okay. Massive fight at the hospital. Some guy tried to sneak into the doctor's office without waiting his turn. What a dick! A few people who were waiting in line decided to punish the bastard and a fight started up. Always with the fights. Always starting up fights. What is with these people? Paddy wagon. Prado. These guys. And our very own asshole. Get in there. Go do it. This better be a false alarm. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. The man turns out to be the girl's adoptive father. All right, fine. Jeez, these freaking people, freaking about, freaking out about every little thing. This is the most racist town. <laughs> it's so, it's like it's nuts. It's insane. I I I I gotta dive into the heads of the developers. Like, I don't think I I read about it and I already forgot. But I I don't think it's an American company. In fact, I'm quite sure it's not. Um. So, I just, I wonder, like, where they grew up. Uh, there are men and women fighting along a narrow hallway, and they're starting to pick up chairs. What is this? Oh, the massive fight in the, in the hospital. Can I see the doctor for a second? I need to ask him something. Lower the chairs. Grab the loudest person in the crowd and arrest him. Lower the chairs. We did it. Again, taser might have worked just fine, but whatever. Mass riot at the Last Picture Show Theater. The audience at the premiere of the rules of the game was so outraged at the French film that they broke the chairs in the hall and now they're threatening to set fire to the cinema. Holy fuck! What is wrong with these people? <laughs> That's so ridiculous! I, guys, I've, I've seen some bad movies, okay? I've gone to the theater, spent my money, and walked out just thinking, well, fuck, that was stupid. That was terrible. That was nothing like it was supposed to be. That, that was like the movie version of No Man's Sky. That was ridiculous. But I didn't set chairs on fire and shit. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you people? Good lord. The perplexed theater director locked himself in his... Yeah, I'd be perplexed too. Uh, then called to report the incident. I can't imagine why this film so angered them. Yeah, good lord. 
All right, well, we're gonna send in, let's see, how do we, uh, we wanna, I don't know if we have time for the paddy wagon. We're gonna send in SWAT. We're gonna put Chavez in charge. I'll, I mean, I've, I'm pretty sure this doesn't actually put anyone in charge, but I just like to imagine that the first slot is uh, the person in charge. Um, and I like it to be Chavez, because uh, she's just terrible um, in every way. Uh, and we're going to send in Beard Cell uh, to back up Chavez, because she doesn't have any idea what the hell she's doing. Um, and we're going to send in Dixon and McCoy, uh, because she just she's having such a lovely day. Um, and we will keep these three, in case something else comes up. How about that? That sounds good to me. That sounds like a good plan. Jeez. These fucking people. It's just... <laughs> they broke the, the chairs and set shit on fire in the freaking movie theater because they didn't like a movie. Smoke is rising from an apartment building and residents are running out into the street. Some are saying that suspicious foreigners live in the apartment that the explosion came from. Fine. I, who cares about the foreigners? There's an explosion. Um, and I only have three people... Uh, never mind, I have a lot of people. Uh, let's send in Prado. Okay. The, end, the day's gonna end soon. Okay, how about all of these people? That should be good enough. I hope. Just in case we get one more little call, then we'll have these three idiots. I say idiots, but they've been on the force for a while. Um, oh, look, that went fine. Smith has been on the force for 80 goddamn days. And he's had 51 successful assignments. And he's had six failed assignments. But, you know, those were life lessons, right? That's how he learned. That's how he learned not to be an asshole. Oh, here we go. Okay, Chloe Numata, um, who's just uh, just the most amazing and gorgeous uh, um, person on the force. Of course, uh, she's the best. She's been working for us for 40 days. She's had 34 successful assignments and only two life lessons. It's pretty good. And fall, uh, we'll get back to you. However, holy crap, look how many, he's had almost as many successful assignments and he's been near half as long as Numata. That's nuts. All right, fine. I'm done looking at that. I just wanted to get a little bit of history. What's this? Oh, it's the, um, the thing. You have three new frames. Is it enough? Oh, it might be. All right. Let's take a look at this. Um, did we look at this before? No, I don't think so. Okay, Juan Camilo, Camilo, Camilo I don't know, Sales Salas, sorry, <laughs> is an experienced smuggler, very capable of, of obtaining and smuggling any sort of good across any border. He always comes armed and believes that all the protection he needs. Or believes that's all the... Okay, so like, he comes armed and doesn't need... Um, like, uh, bodyguards and shit. Is that what it's saying? I'm just trying to look for something that looks like he's armed and I don't see anything. Um, the station chief is a morphine junkie and Juan blah 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 is more than happy to fill his need. In exchange for the blind eye, he turns to Salas' other business. Uh, okay. Is that morphine? I don't know. It kind of looks like morphine. It looks like something. Who knows? Uh, the pieces of the stolen car are hidden inside the truck's cargo container. Okay. Okay. That's probably that then. Oops. Loading. Containers are loaded into train cars directly from the truck. Yeah, like that. Okay. And he watches while the, while the wait is recorded and the container is sealed. For every service, Salas always pays cash. He watches as it's sealed... He pays cash. Which one? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The station chief is a morphine junkie. Does this look like the station chief? This looks like the station chief. Who the fuck is this guy? What is happening? I don't think we have enough frames. Never mind. <laughs> we did it. All right, fine. The suspect is Juan Camilo Salas, experienced smuggler. Great. Let's go fucking get him. Before the day ends, you think we can do it? No, we cannot. We have to wait for tomorrow. I don't know why this happens every single time. But fine. We're going to wait for tomorrow so we can get this guy. Explosion at, at, at the apartment house. The apartment is filled with smoke and the walls covered in soot. In the center of the room stands a man in a dirty white coat. And around him are... 
uh, scattered odd pieces of a complicated device. Seeing the police, the man begins to explain incoherently that he's almost finished work on his elixir of youth, and he just needs a little more time. Arrest the man and take him away from the, uh, to the police station. Oh yes, that sounds important. Do you need the help of the Freeburg police? That'd be funny if I did this and it like, somehow worked out. <laughs> Open the window. No, let's arrest him. We're arresting him. There we go. Alright, we will uh, do this thing tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean like in the game. Not in real life, because we're going to actually get onto that right now. Here we go. Um, Chavez, you're working tomorrow. Come on in. Do we need anybody else? I don't think so. Shift B. I think we're okay. You know what? Let's bring in Megadopolis. Because <laughs> we do need to send a bunch of people out to catch... Oh. Mr. Boyd, Kevin Paulson is here. He wants to talk. Kevin Paulson. Tell him to fuck off. Yeah. Who's Kevin Paulson again? Jack Boyd, super cop. <laughs> Why the half a million, Jack? What Why? the fuck? Why does everyone keep well, asking me that? What happened? It's no one's business. Does some have some kind of special meaning? What? Lana, I don't know who told you about the half million, but it's much more complicated than you think. Oh, there's an it's actual reason? All right. It took me an hour to go over all the documents. Only an hour? There's even a few pictures and a lot of answers. Except for one thing. Why half a million? It's none of your goddamn you business, mean? Lana. How did you get them? What's in them? I think you know very well what's in them. I have no fucking idea. The one is obviously a big fan of your criminal talents. He even has a cute name for you. Copcake. Remember when you told me how uh, you're always surrounded by old men? Well, I'm the opposite. I'm surrounded by children, nine-year-old boys. From their first day of work, they gather in the smoking lounge, telling jokes about what they'll do when they loot their first million. But it's more than just innocent jokes. It's quickly becoming a reality. They themselves are surprised how quickly everything happens. They buy their own houses, they buy a car, they get promoted. The first million is soon followed by a second, a third, a fifth. Like children, they have no idea what they're getting into. But I'm not like that, Lana. I'm not like them. You're saying you're not like them because you're only stealing half a million? I only meant you know, that Jack, I'm getting I'm paid by a like confectionery woman. No, I mean business when <laughs> or my whatever. first act as public prosecutor is throwing the city's former police chief in prison. Lana, you can't just read over some papers like this and I told you not to let him in. I'm yeah, sorry, fuck him. Wait, I tried to stop him, but you Lana, we need to talk. Jack, you're so amazingly patient with people. After all the confusion over the past months, all the humiliations, it's really quite admirable. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm not nearly so patient. Get out of my office, Send Jesus. Someone in here. Now! Yeah. I've been thinking, Jack. When I take your place, I'll have a lot of, uh, a lot of opportunities. For example, I could arrest you. You know it wouldn't be hard to find a reason. You obviously don't want that, right? I don't want that either. Given your reputation, arresting you would make me very unpopular. And if we both don't want that, let's find a way out. My suggestion is you retire tomorrow. And I promise I'll let you leave in peace. Jack, please punch this guy in the face. Come on. Do it. Come on. Punch him in the I, face. <gasps> oh, I we're swear, getting close. Jack, if you... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, I'll take it. That was good. <laughs> I'll go with that. Okay, now what? What? Mr. Jack, Boyd, what? There's a call on line two. Answer it. Who is it? Boyd, you really have to take this call. You take it. Boyd. Jack, it's me. Oh, Laura. shit. Jack, I don't know what you wanted to say to me, but please, just say it. Jack, I'm hanging up the phone. Laura, you... 
Oh my God, Laura. Hey, you remember years ago, so many years I've lost track, but do you remember when Dylan was down with the chicken pox and he couldn't sleep? That's the first thing you say? Until what? He passed out and then we went downstairs, sat on the floor, opened a bottle of wine. Who could blame us? Well, we, we sat on the floor and opened our bills and joked about how poor we were. Remember? And then I jokingly asked if I'd be your hero if I made a million bucks. And you sat there lost in thought like you needed to seriously think about the answer. You were quiet for a while, and then you laughed and said that I'd be your hero even if I only made half a million. Do you remember, Laura? That's Jack, the reason? Do you remember? That better not be the goddamn reason. <laughs> I swear to God. Honestly, Jack, no, I don't remember. You don't remember, but that was... Jack, would... you've been chasing me down for so long to talk with me. For this? That's all you wanted to tell me? How can you not remember? It's important, Laura. It's... It's important. Goodbye, Jack. Mr. Boyd, are you all right? Shit, how many? Calm down. Uh oh. What's happening? Don't kill yourself. Oh my good lord. What oh no. What what's happening? How are we gonna do our job? We destroyed the map. We can't do our job anymore. Oh my god. It's one of these again. Are we in another coma? What the fuck? Dr. Boyd. One player mode, single player mode. What's the difference? <laughs> what? What does it mean? One player mode, single, single as in no wife, no girlfriend. Oh my god, which one? Um, well, one is the loneliest number that you can ever do, while as single, uh, merely means that you still have a chance. We're gonna go with single player mode. I don't, I don't, oh shit. Do I need to avoid those or hit them? I don't know. Oh my god, you guys. I'm not good at these kinds of games. Can I turn it? Oh, I can. Okay. I, is that... I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what? Are we going to put it there? This is going to take forever! <laughs> this one? Okay. We're doing things. Are they good things? Who knows? Uh, let's jam that there. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going to take so long. Maybe I just have to get rid of these guys. Maybe that's what I have to do. Um, that's not the way to try that. Okay, fine. Let's see if I can get rid of these things. Okay, how about this? Hey, we did it! We cleared the level. Fuck no! No, no don't, don't! Oh look, and now he's throwing like a million of them. Okay, fine, we're just gonna... <laughs> Maybe I can do this, but I'm, I'm, I'm not... Come on! Come on! Okay, we lost. Great. Good fucking lord! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god. Oh, yes, it's our doctor. You caught me again. <laughs> and again, I promise this is the last time. And now you say again that I've said it all before, but I'm... Jack Boyd is awake. Jack Boyd? Oh, shit. He opened his eyes. Wow, well, I'm awake. Talk. Talk. Talking? Yes. More like yelling, trying to escape from his room, brawling with the nurses. Oh, God, you gotta love Jack. <laughs> He's a tough son of a bitch. He is a tough son of a bitch, isn't he? Gotta love him. What happened? Okay, we got more. Is this motherfucker? Is he in my office? 
Get the fuck out of my office. Jack! Lord, were you already discharged from the hospital? Punch him in the face. Come on, punch him in the face. A couple of days or even Come on, Jack. Yes! Ah! <laughs> yes, he fucking did it! Woo! Emma, please call the mayor of Freeburg, Stuart Rogers. Yeah, call that asshole. Get him on the phone. Three one one four. Connect. It's urgent. Yeah, it is. This is Jack Boyd. Yeah, let's talk to him. Jack, you've got to take better care of yourself. How's your? I'm Freeburg's police chief. I came to work. Stop trying to get in my way. Yeah. Hmm, someone causing you trouble? We just wanted to make sure somebody was holding down the fort while you, um, while you were recovering. But don't worry about a thing. I'll take care of everything uh, tomorrow morning. You won't be running into Paulson again. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Maybe not, we Jack. Understand each other. Be careful with that. Don't his, I don't trust him or his wording. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Lieutenant Stett went missing about two weeks ago. What? Call him anyways. I want to tell him to fuck off. Look at Jesus down there. He's just down there whimpering in the corner. Oh, look. We got a fucking achievement. Oh, my God, you guys. That was... An amazing episode. <laughs> that was fantastic. I loved every single thing that happened in all of that. That was awesome. I'm going to end the episode here. I know we didn't do two days. We only did one day. Or did we do two days? I've already forgotten. <laughs> My bad memory. No, we did one day. We just had a lot of storyline. I don't want this episode to go on for a million hours. Um, but man, that was awesome. Jack, I love you. I love you so much. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had some fun. Uh, if you did have some fun, please leave a like. Uh, in fact, just leave a like. <laughs> leave a like for Jack. Leave a like for Jack punching Jesus in the face. All right? That was great. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!